Ever felt like diving into the world of investing is akin to being handed a 10,000-piece jigsaw puzzle without a reference picture on the box? Well, you're not alone. In today's world, piggy banks often squeal in protest, and wallets seem to play hide-and-seek more than they should. Many of us frequently ask, where did all my money go? The answer usually isn't about how much we earn, but rather how we manage what we have. What's crucial is acquainting yourself with powerful money. Strategies from the best investing books. Consider the founders of Forever 21, Jin Suk and Du Won. They arrived in LA from South Korea, neither speaking the language nor having much money. However, aside from taking on odd jobs, they continuously expanded their financial knowledge with this newfound wisdom. They transformed a small store named Fashion 21 into the billion-dollar empire known as Forever 21. The most inspiring aspect of their story is that anyone can replicate their success. And guess what? By following in their footsteps and employing just 10 powerful strategies from a selection of 50 investing books, you can create your own financial cheat sheet. And with that, there's nothing stopping you. In this video, we're going to give you that financial cheat sheet and explain 10 powerful money investing strategies. After knowing and employing these strategies, one can become invincible in the financial landscape. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. The first strategy is about something very basic that we often ignore. That is to create your own luck. This powerful money strategy is being discussed in many books, like Make Your Own Luck by Bob Maglani and The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Ever noticed how the universe has a quirky sense of humor, especially when it comes to money? You find a dollar on the street and get charged an extra dollar for that latte. Coincidence? Maybe. Or perhaps it's the universe's way of asking, got a strategy yet? Speaking of strategies, while most of us are out there shaking magic eight balls, hoping for a, yes, you'll be rich. Oh, and there's this cheat sheet of wisdom, powerful money strategies from 50 investing books. Imagine walking through a dense forest, hoping to find a river. Most travelers might give up after several futile attempts, thinking it's just bad luck. But not Jake. Jake believed in creating his own luck. Every time he took a wrong turn and hit a dead end, he marked it, learned from it, and ventured a new path. It wasn't about the numerous dead ends he encountered. It was about that one path that would lead him to the river. And, after numerous attempts, he did find it. This idea of crafting one's own destiny, or as we like to call it, creating luck, is, in fact, one of the powerful money strategies from this 50 investing books. And it isn't just applicable to fictional Jake or to adventurers seeking rivers. Successful people throughout history have echoed the same sentiment. For instance, Thomas Edison wasn't gifted the idea of the light bulb in a dream. He experimented over a thousand times. Sure, there were countless failures, but it was that one glowing success that changed the course of history. Similarly, Think about the stock market. Picture two friends, Alan and Bob. Alan dives in without much thought, banking on luck. Bob, on the other hand, tries multiple strategies, learns from each failed investment, and keeps iterating. Over time, Bob, like the sage gardener who knows where and when to sow his seeds, reaps a bountiful harvest, while Alan is left wondering about what went wrong. In the same way, Ever thought about why gardens are the go-to metaphor for patience and growth? Because like investments, not every seed becomes a plant. But with the right strategy, the harvest is bountiful, much like Thomas Edison, whose light bulb didn't exactly pop up overnight. Or Taylor Swift, who between penning heartbreak anthems, understood that every step counts. I try to have a very stepping stone mentality, where as soon as you make one step, you visualize the next step she quipped. So, if you've been gazing at the sky waiting for money to rain down, maybe it's time for a paradigm shift. 
follow these powerful money strategies, and next time the universe plays a joke, you'll be the one laughing all the way to the bank. Moving forward to the next most powerful money strategy from 50 investing books is something very controversial. You see, while the world chanted for years to live below your means, you have to do the exact opposite. Means, don't live below your means. Now, while everyone's shouting at you to save more and spend less, skip that coffee, cancel that subscription. It's like a broken record, right? But hang on a minute. What if there's a different way? So, there's this book among the 50 investing books. It's called Second Chance by Robert Kiyosaki. You might know him. He's the guy who talks a lot about money. But in this book, he's got a fresh take. Instead of just constantly trying to save a buck here and there, why not focus on how to bring in more bucks in the first place? Here's the deal. Nobody's excited about cutting out little joys to save a tiny bit of cash. I mean, who wakes up thinking, today's the day I'm going to not treat myself and save $2? Nah, but the idea of finding ways to earn more? That sounds pretty darn exciting. This twist, straight from those powerful money strategies from this 50 investing books, makes a ton of sense. Think about it. First off, there's only so much you can cut out before life becomes plain boring. You can't just wear the same old shirt every day to save on laundry, can you? But on the flip side, there's no limit to how much more you can earn. So, don't live below your means. It makes sense in this way to earn more, so you don't need to live below your means. And of course, you have heard about earning money is that the first condition for earning a lot is to have the habit and need to spend a lot. Let's imagine two buddies chatting at a coffee shop. One's all about cutting coupons and finding deals. The other, he's diving into books, learning about investments, side hustles, and more. Fast forward a few years, and while the first guy might have saved a bit here and there, the others built a whole new stream of income. Growing in the money game is a bit like leveling up in a video game. You start with small challenges, but as you get better, you face bigger ones. And with each win, you're not just richer in your wallet, but richer in knowledge, too. So next time someone tells you to cut out the fun stuff, maybe nod, smile, and think of Kiyosaki's advice. Instead of pinching pennies, focus on how to make them multiply. Now, doesn't that sound like a plan? By the way, if you're enjoying the video so far and want more topics like this, comment the word more so I know. The next powerful money strategy from 50 investing books is to decode the money game before jumping in. This is something like playing a video game without checking out its rules. Imagine two buddies, Alex and Liam, firing up a new game. Alex dives right in while Liam takes a moment to understand the rules. In the end, who do you think wins? It's almost always Liam. The world of finance is eerily similar. Tony Robbins, in his acclaimed book, Money, Master the Game, likens the financial landscape to this vast, intricate video game. Now, think about this quote from Albert Einstein. You have to learn the rules of the game, and then you have to play better than anyone else. Robbins echoes that sentiment. In our fast-paced world, Wall Street is this grand arcade, and guess what? Some of the game creators have made the rules sound far more complex than they are. The question is, why? Well, picture this. Two pals, Jamie and Chris, decide to invest. Jamie thinks, it's complicated. Let me just hand my money over to the pros. Chris, on the other hand, recalls a quote from Warren Buffett. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So Chris dives deep unraveling the world of finance, decoding jargon, and understanding how his money can work for him. Fast forward a few years. Jamie is puzzled. He's not seeing the returns he expected. His financial advisors and banks are certainly making a profit, but his own growth? Not so much. Chris, however, with his newfound knowledge, plays the game strategically, much like a master chess player, anticipating moves and making wise choices. 
Sounds a bit unfair to Jamie, doesn't it? But here's the thing. The world of money isn't biased. It's like a river, flowing and abundant. Some people, like stockbrokers and bankers, have just learned how to build better dams, directing the flow in their favor. But anyone can do it. To understand this better, let's use an analogy. Consider money as water in a vast ocean. Many are content paddling at the shore, scared of the depth and the waves. But then there are those, like sailors of old, who learn the tides, the winds, and the stars. They venture deep, discover new lands, and harness the ocean's true potential. So if you ever feel lost in this vast sea of finance, remember this powerful money strategy from 50 investing books. Dive deep, understand the rules, and play the game like the masters. Remember, in the wise words of Robert Kiyosaki, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. All right, let's sail ahead to our next strategy, which is to think big. Imagine standing at the base of a towering mountain, craning your neck, trying to see its peak lost in the clouds. To many, it's just a daunting, unreachable height. To others, it's a challenge to be conquered. David Schwartz, in his game-changing book, The Magic of Thinking Big, urges us to be the latter, to scale those mountains of our dreams. Also, as kids, our dreams knew no bounds. We wanted to touch the sky, swim the deepest oceans, and yes, some of us even wanted to chat with aliens. But somewhere along the line, Reality told us to tone down our dreams. It whispered, think practical. Well, reality clearly hasn't read The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. Speaking of which, let's sprinkle in a hint of that powerful money strategy from 50 investing books for some zest. David's message is clear. Never stop dreaming and never settle. You see, when we dream big, we plan big. Think of Elon Musk. Remember when he first talked about Mars? People laughed, but now, well, he's having the last laugh from a rocket, probably. Let's pivot closer to home. Picture an old house, almost dilapidated. The average Joe might see a money pit, but not Jane. Jane sees potential and dreams of transforming it into a charming Airbnb. That's what thinking big does. It shifts your perspective from seeing problems to seeing potential. Here's where it gets real, say. You're earning $3,000 a month. What if you aimed for $20,000 instead? Seems unrealistic? Maybe. But aiming, hey, changes the game. It means that instead of your usual Netflix binge, you might end up on an investment binge. And here's a fun fact. The latter can buy you a lot more popcorn. Steve Jobs echoed this sentiment. He believed in changing the world, not just fitting into it. The people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. He wasn't just dreaming. He was thinking big. The underlying message, don't just be a dreamer, be a big dreamer. It might just be the key you need from these books to unlock the next level in your life. Now the next on 10 Powerful Money Strategy is similar to that of thinking big, but in addition you have also to think of what's the worst that can happen if your plans don't work? Now picture this, you're about to try that bizarre looking sushi everyone's been raving about. Your friend's excited but you, you're breaking out in a cold sweat, raw fish, really. But before your anxiety takes over, you wonder, what's the worst that can happen? Maybe a bad aftertaste or perhaps just a hilarious story for your next party. Now, let's apply that adventurous sushi spirit to our finances with a sprinkle of wisdom from this 50 Investing Books collection. Believe it or not, this particular nugget isn't from an investing guru, but from the legendary Dale Carnegie, the wizard of personal development. In his book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, 
he poses a simple yet mind-bending question. What's the worst that can happen? Many of us have lost sleep worrying about that stock we impulsively bought or that risky business venture we're about to dive into. Oh, and let's not even mention those big loans that feel like a dark cloud overhead. But Carnegie suggests a simple trick. Instead of drowning in a sea of what-ifs, why not stand tall and ask, okay, what's the absolute worst-case scenario? By confronting these fears head-on, we often realize that the financial monsters under our beds aren't as scary as they seem. They're like that odd sushi, maybe not your favorite, but definitely not the end of the world. It's kind of like decluttering your mind. Instead of a messy room filled with anxieties, you now have a neat space where you can think clearly and strategize better. After all, a calm sea never made a skilled sailor, right? So next time you're knee-deep in financial doubt, channel your inner Carnegie. Take a deep breath, face your fears, and dive right in. Remember, every problem has a solution, and sometimes all you need is a change in perspective to spot it. And talking about perspective, the next powerful investing book is about perspective, about money. You need to understand that money is a game. All right, you ever join a game night where there's always that one friend? Let's call him Dave, who's just plain awful at Monopoly. Dave, bless his heart, lands on a premium property and thinks, eh, I'm more of a just pass, go and collect $200 kind of guy. That's a bit like how some treat their real financial life, only with fewer colorful banknotes. Now let us share a nugget from our 10 Powerful Money Strategy from 50 Investing Books collection. It's like the secret sauce to not being a Dave in the real world. We remember family dinners where money was like the Voldemort of topics. We just didn't say its name. Everyone knew it existed. Everyone wanted more of it. But discussing it openly? That's inviting chaos. You see, society has this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde perspective on money. It's either idolized to the point where we think gold-plated yachts are a necessity, or it's the villain behind every misfortune. Quite the conundrum, right? Now here's where Napoleon Hill strides in with a game-changer from Think and Grow Rich. Ready for it? Money? It's just a game. A high-stakes, globally inclusive, never-ending game. And if you're not playing, well, you're probably still playing but just doing it all wrong. Here's the thing. Life doesn't hand everyone the same game pieces. Some get diamond-studded tokens. Others, well, might be working with a bent paper clip. But, and it's a big but. It's not where you start, but how you strategize and maneuver. Think of it this way. If life's money game was a board game, it wouldn't be about sprinting to the finish line, no. It'd be a blend of strategy, patience, and sometimes a sprinkle of daring. Complaining the dice is loaded or the banker's sneaky looking at you, younger sibling, won't get you any closer to that sweet victory. So, here's the playbook. Learn the rules, master your strategy, and remember to upgrade from that paperclip. In this grand game of money, it's all about those strategic moves. So, lace up, gear on, and dive into this game with the fierceness of a Monopoly tycoon eyeing his next hotel. Remember, it's not about rolling a double. Sometimes, it's always about playing the long game. Now, moving forward to the next powerful investing books, it is about the sunk cost fallacy. This is something we all do but never admit, buying that gym membership and then never going after the first week. And no, that one time you went to get a smoothie from the gym. Cafe doesn't count. I mean, you've spent the money, so you should be making those gains, right? But instead, you hold on to that membership because you can't bear the thought of all that wasted cash. Guess what? You've just been played by the sunk cost fallacy. And this exactly is our next strategy from the powerful money strategy from 50 Investing Books. In the book, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, he highlights this tricky mental pothole. So let's understand what exactly it is. Picture John. 
Good old John's been grinding at this swanky job that's draining his soul faster than our phone battery during a video call. But instead of looking for something better, John thinks, five years of my life are in this. I can't just bail. Sound familiar? Maybe you're in John's boat. Perhaps it's that degree you're chasing because Aunt Karen said it was prestigious. Halfway through, you're yearning for something different, but those semesters spent feel like shackless. Or you're in a relationship that's more May than magic. Yet, because of the time invested, you hold on hoping for... a miracle? The sunk cost fallacy is that sneaky voice that whispers, you've come this far, can't turn back now. But let's spill some truth tea here. That voice? It's a liar. And not a very good one. It makes you stick to past decisions, making you a hostage to your former self. Here's the golden nugget. Reflect on where you are and where you want to go. If there's a gap, don't let past investments chain you down. Yes, it's challenging to ditch the I've already spent so much time on this mindset. But hey, if you're holding a lemon, you might as well make some lemonade. Or better yet, toss it and grab an orange. And remember the famous saying about sunk cost fallacy. Eyes on the prize, not on the price you've already paid. Next strategy is about get rich young. You ever sit back and think, man, I'd love to be rich when I'm 80? Common advice says, invest now, be patient, and someday you'll sit atop a mountain of cash. It's great advice, but it's also, how shall we put it, slow? By the time that mountain's ready for climbing, our knees probably won't be. This powerful money strategy is from books like The Millionaire Fast Lane by M.J. DeMarco. Now, you might be thinking it's one of those sketchy late-night infomercials promising you riches if you just buy this magical penny stock. But DeMarco has a different tune. He sings the praises of the entrepreneurial spirit, not about inheriting a family fortune or discovering buried treasure. It's about elbow grease innovation, and a sprinkle of daring. You might be grafting hard for a solid decade, but after that, who's to say? Maybe you're the next tech mogul, or perhaps the world's newest health food sensation. Suddenly, that 10-year grind doesn't sound too bad, especially if the next 50-plus are in luxury. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine being 30 or 40 with no looming financial burdens. Every morning, you get to ask, do I want to work today? The world's your oyster. Whether it's traveling, pursuing passions, or heck, maybe buying an oyster farm if that's your jam. However, let's not forget the turtle in this race. The tried and tested route of long-term investing. Warren Buffett, the investment maestro, took this path and began as early as when he was in his teenage. That's when most of us were trading baseball cards, but his major bucks rolled in post-50. It's a longer play, but with consistency, the rewards can be monumental. In conclusion, life's full of choices. Do you gun it down DeMarco's fast lane or take a leisurely drive down the road? No wrong turns, just different journeys. But remember, the earlier you reach there, the more it's better. Next, moving forward, the next strategy talks about spending, saving, and investing it. Ever caught yourself dreaming about diving into a pool of gold coins, Scrooge McDuck style? Well, this next 10 powerful money. Strategy from this 50. Investing books is all about spending, saving, and investing. And guess where this gem is from? The much revered Rich Dad, Poor Dad, by none other than the money maestro, Robert Kiyosaki. Now, the magic number we're dealing with here is three. When your bank account gets a little chaching from payday, there are basically three dance moves you can pull. The splurge shimmy, spend, the safe step, save, or the investing Irish jig, invest. But here's the twist. Not all dance moves are created equal. Let's face it, we all love a good shopping spree. But if you're shimmying with every paycheck, you'll soon be dancing to a different tune. 
On the flip side, stashing all your cash under the mattress, or in today's terms, letting it get cozy in a savings account, might sound like the safe way to groove, but... Inflation. Yep, that sneaky little monster that erodes the value of your dollar every year. So while you think you're safe-stepping, you might actually be doing the losing value limbo. And that brings us to the grand finale, the Investing Irish Jig. This powerful money strategy from 50 Investing Books recommends embracing your inner dancing star and mastering this move. While investing comes with its risks, doing it wisely can make your money multiply in harmony. But hey, a quick side note. The world's billionaire club, Buffett, Bezos, Musk, they each have their own signature dance. There's no one-size-fits-all choreography to wealth. So if someone tries to sell you their guaranteed tutorial to riches, maybe take a step back and evaluate. Your rhythm, your rules. In the grand ballroom of finance, it's essential to find the rhythm that matches your personal style. Don't get too caught up comparing your moves to others. Instead, focus on finding what gets your feet tapping and your wealth stacking. So to all aspiring financial champs out there, find your groove, enjoy the music, and keep dancing towards those golden dreams. Finally, the last strategy from the 10 Powerful Money Strategy from 50 Investing Books is about buying assets. Now, have you ever wondered why some people seem to have the Midas touch, turning everything they touch into gold, while others, well, just keep collecting shiny objects? The legendary tome, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, might just have the answer. Imagine this, two friends, Bob and Alice, Bob spends every penny he earns on the latest gadgets, swanky cars, and hip restaurants. Alice, however, is a bit different. She splurges occasionally, but is more into buying stuff like rental properties, stocks, and bonds. Now, who do you think is going to have a healthier bank account in the long run? Here's where we drop the wisdom bomb from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It's all about the age-old battle between assets and liabilities. No, these aren't fancy terms for your backside and legal troubles. Instead, think of assets as golden geese. They keep laying those precious golden eggs for you. Whether it's investments, real estate, or even that genius app idea you've been mulling over, assets keep the cash rolling in. Liabilities, however, are like those pesky leeches in a fish tank. They're the car loans, mortgages, or that ultra-lux coffee maker you bought on credit. All sucking money out of your pocket drip by relentless drip. Now, here's this 10 powerful money strategy from 50 Investing Books. Highlight? Want to get rich? Well, there's no need for a convoluted 10-step plan. Just follow Rich Dad's straightforward advice. Buy more assets. Sounds too easy. That's because the concept is simple, but mastering it, that's where the challenge lies. After reading this masterpiece, one starts seeing the world with a different lens. Every purchase undergoes an asset or liability scrutiny. A new phone? Hmm, does it put money in my pocket? No. How about investing in that small local business or picking up a few shares? Now we're taking the raw to financial nirvana isn't about being a scroge. It's about being smart, being educated, and sometimes being a tad bit disciplined. So the next time you reach for your wallet, ask yourself, is this getting me closer to my golden geese or adding another leech to the tank? Your future self will thank you. And there you have it. You just learned 10 powerful money strategies from 50 investing books. If you are new to this channel, you can find summaries of most of these books in my previous videos. Don't forget to check them out. If you are interested, uh, get any audiobook of your choice for free using the link below the video. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. I recommend you watch the next video in our series. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.